So this is our new cubby. So when we were part of the steering group and the, the, the various groups that got together with the view to look at our new library space, because we were talking about the need to have um, a space for students and staff if they wanted to come and either energise or calm things down and if they're feeling anxious or, or overwhelmed. Um, and we hadn't, you know, we were working in this game for years, but we hadn't heard of the cubby. Um, so we got in touch with the company, who's a very new company, so about four years old and then we scheduled a demo um, and it really went from there. So the Cubby is, is designed to be an immersive experience for users who can have uh, programs set to five, 10 or 15 minutes. They can either customise it for themselves or they can have a, a default uh, program that then is designed to either energise them if that's what they, they feel that they need or something that might just calm things down um, slightly. So yeah, we're really looking forward to it. But it transpires that we are the first higher education, so university-based context to actually have a cubby um, installed. So we're really, really excited about the potential, not only for the application within our setting. If you think about the research potential, the knowledge exchange potential, already today we've had NHS colleagues here who are exploring it for their, um, their context with children. So again, I'm really looking forward to it from the learning, teaching and research and knowledge exchange point of view as well. So this is important because we've had lots of student feedback to say that they feel they need sensory rooms or areas where they're, if they're feeling a bit overwhelmed, they can just come along and take a bit of time out for themselves. So that's the idea of the cubby, is that they've got 10, 10, 15 minutes where they can just come have something that's going to be a bit of a distraction, it's going to help them to unwind. So exam times I would say would be a fabulous time to come and use the cubby. Um, Any time really, if someone's having a difficult time, you don't have to wait to be invited, you just come along, make sure that the programme is the one that's going to help them the best. If they need energising, you can be energised by the cubby. If you need to be calmed down, you can be calmed down by the cubby. So from whether you're feeling overwhelmed or too tired to continue, it should have something that's going to make you make a difference. Yeah, it's great to know that the resources are being provided for the students that have the requested that they need. So as an interpreting student in the classroom, you can get a bit overloaded from just the lights, the screens. You're constantly having to watch the tutor. So when you come out of the class, you don't want to hear any language, you don't want to see any language, so it'd be nice to have somewhere quiet to just go and relax. Maybe just even close your eyes for a bit in, in privacy. It's uh, really positive. I think it's uh, a real investment in the students themselves, or in all of us. Um, any of us could come and use it uh, to decompress after a tough day. Sometimes, you know, the lighting in le lectures can be quite harsh and you've been overwhelmed with a lot of information. So, yeah, I think it's a really great resource for uh, all the students to be able to use. This is my first time seeing the Cubby in action. There has been a student feedback process and it's really great that the students uh, are being listened to, what they're, they're having their needs met um, so that they have this escape when they need it.